right back as we are off and underway in round three of this emerging rivalry that has had so much fire in it in the past year. And the prize tonight is a place in the Kilby Cup final. Chung dropping deep. Nice little give and go with Arzan. And Arzan with a beautiful skip and a turn around two tackles. Begaloo into Arzan. This is wonderful football by Borgetto. Bodenko with the first chance of the game. 1-0. Borgetto cutting through Shamrock's defence with a mesmerising move. And they've scored in the first five minutes. Just began with a simple one-two between Arzan and Chung in the middle. Arzan with some fantastic footwork, skipping past two tackles. It was worked out to Bordenka, who did what he does best in the penalty area. Find the back of the net. Perfect start for Borgetto. That'll be a corner kick for Borgetto. They are in control of this game. Shamrocks have challenge at the back post. And Yusef with the goal gaping has missed a sitter. He headed it back across and is cleared off the line at the front post. Oi. Another right pass, Bordenka. Down the line to Chung. Chung on side. Angle getting narrowed. Chung's cut in around the goalkeeper. Surely for Borgetto. And it's fired into the roof of the net. Borgetto with a foothold in the Kilby Cup final now. And I think it was Bordenka once more. And Borgetto's top scorer has put them into a commanding position now. Aronofsky looking to beat Gad, who stood him up well. But Aronofsky not giving up, he's got half the yard here. Aronofsky takes a deflection! And it's cleared out and looked like it might be about to sneak in, trickling almost into that back post. Oswald having the hit, and that was quite a hit as well. Maybe a foot or so past the post. It's been much more promising in the last 10 minutes of the first half overall from Shamrock. Chung looking to flick it up ahead. One back by the rocks. Lovely bit of feet there by Kappa. Sent out on this far side. Abu Dai, Peralta's come off his line. Abu Dai's lobbed him. And it's just over that crossbar. See what the Shamrocks can do from this. And the front post, header, and the back post! And the Shamrocks are back in it! And there's a bit of a kerfuffle as they try to retrieve the ball. But we have got a semi-final back on now, ladies and gentlemen. Shamrocks doing exactly what they needed to at the start of this second half. And it's, uh, looks like it's... Uh, Dupaton, who's there, sent to Ford. McMillan's moved out to the left side and it's set away for McMillan. McMillan has cleared the tackle. McMillan! And it's off the line. And it's gone out for a corner kick. That was absolutely heart and mouth moment for Borgetto. McMillan doing really well. And it was the slightest of touches on the goal line hit by Adamak to maintain Borgetto's lead. Yeah, knocking on the door. Shamrock. Coleman. That was... And it's gone in! It's gone in at the front post! It's a freak goal for the Shamrocks. That has brought them back level. But how they deserve it, they have shown fantastic spirit since going two down. I don't think Coleman meant it. It was a fatal error at the near post from Borgetto. It's a breakaway here for Bettino. Bettino on the left foot, low shot, and Heston down quickly and just about keeping it to himself. Kepa, loose there, Chung on the turn. Shamrock's very short at the back. Chung into Begaloo. Out to Bettino. Bettino to the back post, Chung on the volley. It was not an easy chance, but with his ability, he'd be disappointed, Chung. He couldn't hit the target. Final seconds, Chung. Giving that left, Bordenka, first time in. And the linesman's flag is up. And that is the last action of regular time 
This Kilby Cup semi-finals is going to penalties. McKenna, he will take the first kick. McKenna steps up and he puts it right down the middle. No mistake. Miguel Chung for Borgetto. Long delay. And he fires it in very comfortably into that far right corner. McAleenan. And it's saved. Saved by Peralta. Yusef. Down the middle, and Borgetto have the edge. And the pressure is on. Delayed run up and tucks it in. Very cool from Christian Oi. Begaloo now called upon to restore Borgetto's advantage in this third round of the penalties. Just snuck it into that far left corner. Kappa making the lonely walk now. If he fails to score, Borgetto will be one kick from the final. No mistake from Kappa. Arzan against Heston. Arzan puts it away and there is no room for error for the Rocks anymore. Is the skipper, Darren Coleman, who all the weight of this semi-final falls upon. If he misses, Shamrocks are going home. And it'll be a third time in a row that Borgetto have bested them. If he scores, Borgetto will still have a chance from the spot to go through. Coleman saved by Peralta. And Borgetto are going to the Kilby Cup final once again to defend their championship. Shamrock showed so much heart in that second half, coming back from two down. But Borgetto doing it on penalties. What a fantastic semi-final it was.